With the release of the 50th anniversary edition of the White Album, we were treated with a brand new remix by Giles Martin. This is very much in the same vein as the Sgt. Pepper's release that we got in 2017. However, in addition to the White Album, we also got the Escher demos. Now, I'm not gonna go into the Escher demos in this video. I'm specifically gonna focus in on the remix that Giles did, and we're gonna compare it to three other pressings that I have, including a 1968 original U.S. stereo pressing, a 1980s U.K. pressing, and finally, just for the heck of it, the 2014 mono pressing, just to kind of hear the difference overall between stereo and mono. Now, this album has 30 tracks on it. I'm not going to go through every song. However, I'm going to try to hit all the, the bigger hits off of here, the more well-known songs, the more fan favorites, to kind of give a, a good sense of the differences. And I'm curious to know what you guys will hear because I have my own opinions, I'll tell you that at the end, but let's start with track one, side one, back in the USSR. You know what? While we're at it, let's just dive right into Dear Prudence. All right, up next, we're going to do My Guitar Gently Weeps, one of my favorite songs. Now we got happiness is a warm gun. Mother Superior jumped the 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 gun. And let's check out I'm So Tired. Up next, we got Blackbird. It's one of my favorite McCartney songs. One of my favorite songs at period. So beautiful, so lovely. And uh, it's a song that Giles kept referencing in terms of how he approached the, the remix. He wanted this to sound more contemporary. Uh, he's well aware how Beatles music is now part of playlists, and he wanted this to sound natural coming right after an Ed Sheeran song, which is an interesting choice, but uh, I don't know if that'd be my playlist. Could be yours, no judgment. However, I, I think this is a good example of something that's very stripped down, bare bones kind of production style to really hear the differences. Check it out. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment. All right, let's do one of my childhood favorites, Rocky Raccoon. <laughs> and then one of my favorite John Lennon songs, Julia, so beautiful. Let's hear the differences. Now we have Mother Nature's Son. All right, up next we're going to do Sexy Sadie. And 
I can't forget Helter Skelter. It's an infamous song. It's a fantastic song. Check it out. And I couldn't do this video without playing Revolution 1. Let's hear for the differences. Another one of my favorites, Cry Baby Cry. Mmm, so good. And finally, let's see how different Revolution 9 is. I'm specifically interested in the Giles Martin mix versus the UK mix. All right, so I think that gives you a pretty good picture of what Giles and the rest of the game did on this remix. Personally, I was not blown away by this mix like I was with the Sgt. Peppers. And I think that's because this was 1968. The Beatles had embraced stereo, so the mix on the original pressing is actually quite good. I will say though that this, the changes were subtle. They were subtle, minute, but I feel like overall, this album breathes a little bit better. It, it feels a little bit more open. The highs are higher, the lows are lower, the middle sounds fantastic. I feel like there's more room for all the instruments to breathe. It doesn't ever feel cluttered, which I think is, is fantastic. And I feel like I said a lot of the same things when I talked about the Sgt. Pepper's remix. But uh, having this in stereo, it, it's not as uh, a big leap as it was with the Sgt. Pepper's mix. Uh, compared to the mono, totally different animals. Uh, I still say, pick up the mono version if you haven't already. This version, I don't know. If you already own one of these other stereo pressings, I don't know if this is enough of a step up to warrant you spending more money on another white album, you know what I mean? However, I will say that the four LP box set is fantastic for the Escher demos alone. Those are so worth having on vinyl. I highly encourage you, if you're on the fence, check them out online. You can stream them, it's so easy now. In fact, while you're at it, go check out the outtakes from the white album sessions. There's some really cool elements that go on that, you know, especially with Good Night, I almost wish they went with one of the earlier takes versus that more uh, orchestral lush string version that ended up on the final album. I mean, I still love this song, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's kind of cool to hear wh what led up to, to this album. Anyway, I want to know what you think of this new remix. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it's a big overall change or is it subtle and in the right way subtle or was it not enough? Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you picked up this version or you picked up the Super Deluxe Edition. I'm curious to know. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek and I'll catch you on the flip side. Hey everybody, thanks again for checking out this video. Now, if you wanna see my review on the White Album, I'll put a link right there, as well as my first impressions of the Escher demos. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. If you like what you see here, I put out new videos every Tuesday and sometimes Fridays.